Journalist Italy Hod has outed a gay congressman, or at least he's allegedly gay, because of his record on voting against LGBT rights. Now, the Republican congressman in question here is Aaron Schock, and Italy Hod wrote the following about him on his Facebook page. He said, Here's a hypothetical. What if you know a certain GOP congressman, let's say from Illinois, uh, is gay, and you know this because one of your friends, a journalist for a reputable network, told you in no uncertain terms that he caught the GOP congressman and his male roommate in the shower together. Now they could have been good friends just trying to conserve water, but there's more. What if this congressman has also been caught by TMZ cameras trolling gay bars? Now what if you know that this very same guy, the darling of the GOP, has also voted against repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, opposed the repeal of DOMA, is against gay marriage, and for the federal marriage amendment, which would add language to the U.S. Constitution banning gay marriage and would likely strike down every gay rights law and ordinance in the country. So that's what he asks, okay? That's what he posts on his Facebook page. And then he includes, he doesn't mention Congressman Aaron Schock, but he does include a link at the bottom of that uh, for an America blog article that's titled, The Seven Gayest Aaron Shock Instagram Posts of 2013. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what he's talking about. I can't quite tell. Well, no, that could go either way. I feel like that could be really? overly straight. Really? I don't think it can go really? either way. No, I, Those pants, though. 1950s a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, those are his shoes. Oh, that's fascinating. He likes Toms. Okay, yeah. All right. mm -hmm. Next. All right. Okay. That's not gay at that's, all. That's not gay at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure straight guys drink that. <laughs> okay. That's not gay at all either. Nope. Okay. Next. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, by the way, I have very similar pictures. That's so... That's definitely not gay. Yeah, there's What's nothing gay, about, gay that? about that at all. Okay. Well, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I like America Blog. And, and, and they... Look, a lot of people outed this guy way before this Hod character did, but yeah. uh, well, but he's a journalist, so that's different, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay, so all of this came out, and um, Aaron Shock had responded to uh, gay rumors in the past. He has not responded to this particular journalist, but um, in the past he has said those questions are completely ridiculous and inappropriate. I've said I'm straight before, and I don't think it's worthy of further response. I think you can look it up. Okay. But I think that a really important question comes up with this story, Jank. Like, do you think that it is appropriate for someone to out a congressman um, if he is allegedly gay and he's voting against gay rights? Yeah, it, it, to me, the uh, whole question is whether you've got clear evidence. Now, I know this because we did a story on Aaron Schock before, mm -hmm. and I didn't think there was clear enough evidence, right? But if you have clear evidence, definitely out him. Okay, because this, you know what his uh, uh, approval rating from the human rights campaign is? Zero, okay? He always votes against gay rights. And if he's gay and you got evidence, hell yeah, you should out him. And, and, and before we didn't have that evidence, people were pointing to his clothes, right? Mm -hmm. And we did a segment on that, which we'll get to in a second, right? But now, okay, he's picture, you know, got pictures of him in Tampa's gay district. Well, I could be in West Hollywood in LA. Okay, it's not dispositive yet, right? You got his funny shoes, whatever, right? But we're getting there. <laughs> okay, anyway. No, and then uh, the real evidence, obviously, is him in the shower without dude. That's yeah. the evidence. Yeah, but I mean, look, at this point, what the journalist is saying is hearsay. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little uncomfortable with that as well. But if he does have actual evidence and it's, and it's concrete, then I have no problem with him whatsoever outing someone who's voting against gay rights and, and happens to be gay himself. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. That hypocrisy is crazy. So let's now go to the videotape of me talking about about Aaron Schock before, and afterwards I will come back and tell you my current verdict. First of all, uh, the gay rumors apparently go back all the way to 2004 with him. He's been in Congress since 2009, but they flared up again for a number of reasons. He went to a White House picnic in June of 2010, apparently what people describe as in a flamboyant outfit. And there you see it. Now, all right. All right, look, let's we'll keep it real on the Young Turks. That's not the straightest outfit you've ever seen, okay? Now, if I had a body like his, 
I might wear that shirt. I think that shirt could be cool. And by the way, this is reason number two. He's done a lot of topless pictures uh, for Men's Health, May of 2011. There, this is totally not guilty. If I had abs like that, I wouldn't just be in Men's Health. I'd be in every magazine you could imagine. Good housekeeping, I'm coming in with my abs. Where he seems to get people's attention is the teal belt. <laughs> OK. Now, I wouldn't have imagined the teal belt, but that's because I'm not a fashionable dude. Okay, gay or straight, I'm not fashionable. <laughs> now, since he got a lot of heat for that, he later went over the top and said, I burned the belt. Dude, bring it down, bring it down. You're overreacting a little bit, okay? Just calm down, okay? Now, is he gay? Of course I don't know, right? And this is some weak sauce evidence. <laughs> You're basing it on a belt? Okay, now, again, as a straight guy, I wouldn't have imagined that outfit, but that means very, very little, okay? So it doesn't matter that much, and based on this evidence, I vote not guilty. Now, if you got other evidence, you never know. Hmm. And now, we've got other evidence. I have a new verdict. Gay. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, you could tell there that with me saying, if there's no evidence, I wouldn't have done the belt. Uh, I, okay, I, I, obviously I had my suspicions, uh, and you know, and obviously as I said there, it was weak sauce. I mean, it's based on his outfits and how he dresses, etc. Like the whole ab stuff is nonsense, and weightlifting is nonsense. Straight guys weightlift, it's so ridiculous, right? Mm, they should weightlift uh, like that more, okay. you know what I'm but, talking about. But I mean, you got the teal, yeah, right? <laughs> you got the teal belt, you got the shoes, you got oh, whatever, right? There's a, and he's claiming there's a journalist who saw him, and I don't. There's no reason how for them to make that up with a dude in a shower. How did that even happen? How did the journalists see them? That's probably why he didn't report on it, because they probably know each other in social circles, goes to his yeah. house, whatever it is, right? And they see that uh, thing going down. So. And I would. I'm sorry. I, didn't mean that. I, oh. Uh, also, the one thing that I'm always shocked by is how brazen politicians are with their behavior, right? So he's trying to hide the fact that he's gay, obviously. Why is he going to gay bars? And why is he showering with You some know why? Because he's gay. No, 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 I know. <laughs> like, I know he can't help gay, himself. Why he, does a straight guy do stupid stuff? Because he's straight and he, he's got a penis and yeah. he can't, and it guides him. You think a young, good looking guy like that is going to be able to stop his penis? So I, It doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight. You can't stop that thing. Right? And he's single. He's got, so of course he's going to go to gay bars. I, I, I hate this guy because of how he votes against gay rights. But at the same time, I feel so bad for him as well. Because he's trying so desperately to hide it. And he's lying to himself about who he is. And that's so incredibly sad. Like, let it all hang out. Do what you want to do. <laughs> well, life that's what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> no, but life is short. <laughs> Stop voting against your own rights, live your life. I just don't, uh, if you want to be a gay Republican, be a gay Republican. I yeah, mean, yeah. Well, your party how, is going to hate you. That's right. That's why you shouldn't be part of that party. Yeah, well, if, because if you're a gay Republican, you would then just be gay. Because they'd throw you out of the party. Yeah. Okay, he wouldn't get reelected. That's why he hides in the closet. I have a sense that if I knew Aaron Schock after he came out, I'd yeah. probably like him, right? But right now, he's kind of a hideous guy. Absolutely. Uh, because to vote against gay rights and say no, they're different and they shouldn't be allowed to marry, they shouldn't have the same rights as straight people, as you, then you go home and do what you do, man, that takes a particular brand. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not anything new, I know it's happened throughout history, but it doesn't make it any better, okay? Yeah, it's, that's incredibly obnoxious. And should he be outed for that? Hell yes.